Hey people, Intrude here, 2v2, Medean Cliff Mines, blue team. Space Marines here is Rice Muncher with a Tech Marine. Starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support the structures and repair. We've got some Blood Ravens alongside King of Pythons, let's say. I can't say his full name or the video will get demonetized. It's a Force Commander. Very good offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. The Ultramarines DLC here for this Force Commander. Red team. Two Warlocks. First up is Space Elf. And uh, what is this? This is like same Han Elite scheme blinged up, I think. And Torpid. With also the same Han Elite scheme. Is this the, the default colors? No. I don't think it is. These guys are melee spellcasters that can leap into combat. Some powerful disruption and support. Well, there you see Torpid's uh, build order there. I think we'll see the Shuriken before the Rangers, though. And of course, that's just the plan. Everyone has a plan before they get shot in the face with a bolt gun is the famous saying I think Ultramarine's trying to cap this contested VP mid taking some pew pew but they can handle it Warlock getting the caps Banshee's putting pressure on look at this could he not even get the VP it must have been capped and then decapped Banshees have found some Marines their favorite things to chop up in tier one so generally how it goes Space Marines versus Eldar very generally is the Eldar have a strong tier one Pretty even tier 2, I think. And then, oh, the Banshees just fainted when they saw the turrets of the base there. And then the Space Marines have a strong tier 3. Obviously, there's a lot of variables in that. Not least, you know, the skill of the players and stuff. Kruk and Bolts against the Warlock aren't helping, but they look nice. Got the decap. I'm going to get confused about who's who. So, Torpid is the North Warlock. And Space Elf is the South Warlock. Rice Munch with some Devastators on the way with double tactical marines for King of Pythons. There's that first Shuriken for Torpid. Oh, he said it's one Shuriken, two Rangers, didn't he? And some Rangers for Space Elf. Sniper infantry that can support with some utility. Can the scouts cap? These guys cap slower than tactical marines. Almost went down the Warlock there. Needs to be a little bit more defensive, maybe, without as early Banshees up to bully Marines. Now, the Warlock of Space Elf is onto the Tech Marine here. Taking a lot of damage. Went in a little bit early. We just waited a few seconds for the bulk of the force to catch up. Would have gone a lot better. Rangers, are they going to dis disrupt the Devastators? They don't need to. Banshees get straight in there. Some Palmele kicks at the back of the head. Knocks them down. Kills one. Now in on the tactical. He's taking a lot of damage though. These could be dead Banshees. They got a good special. And another good special. Rice Munch is chasing. He did a stop and shoot, buddy. Stop and shoot. There's one model left. They might just get her anyway. I think she's done for. It's enough bolt guns, even with the accuracy penalty for moving. They still get her down. Banshees be dead. Suppression fight and the Elder had more stuff shooting. Aspect of the Avenger for these Star Avengers here gives them the grenade and health and shields. It's a really good upgrade. Force Commander's gonna get caught. Oh, no, he's not. He's got his shield up. He knows what he's doing. Chainsword and Storm Shield still got knocked over though. Dodges the grenade easily. Gets in on the Shuriken. Just face tank that Shuriken quite easily there. Now some special attacks on those Dire Avengers. And he's chopping them up too. I believe he does get, yeah, gets a slight DPS increase on his chainsaw when he gets that thing. Down goes the Warlock. Going to be tough to revive from there too. Meanwhile, Space Marines edging forward with his Devastators here. Merciless Switchblade for Space Elf. Double Rangers. Where's the second one? Oh, they're coming out of base now. Might see a full bash here because there's a flame up. Torpid did get both the Rangers up. Here's some support now. Almost got that Tech Marine. Three hit points. Might have had two. They do get the full bash, but they lost some models for it. Look at that. Marines down to one. Scouts did alright. Only lost one between them. These Devastators may not want to stand here. I mean, the Rangers can't see them, I guess. They have long range on their weapons, but it doesn't mean they can see far. More Devastators for Python. 
the king of python sorry was not expecting that there we go double devs double tax double devs it's a lot of shooting going for the power bash are we going to see a flamer we do see a flamer shuriken is not in the place to stop it right now but they do have grenades a couple of grenades could force these guys to back away the warlock is not up of course which is why python is pushing so hard here Gonna get a full basher, I think, unless those grenades can stop it. Some harassing in the back lines by the rangers. There's one grenade. Tanked it with the defend bonus. Another grenade really well timed to disrupt the force commander. Going for a decap, those guys. Force commander's in there. It's a lot of Eldar pew pew, though. Devastators are pushed up to a good place. Could drop some ranger models here. Down goes one. These guys getting a little bit closer, knowing that the grenades have been used, but this is still really risky. That shield is gone, you need to run away. Are they going to die? They are going to die. Big misplay from Python. And does not quite get the full back, should get a decap though, so... Pretty devastating to power income there. Scouts in the mid from Rice Muncher trying to cap stuff up, and it's tier 2 first for the Eldar and I think it was a pretty solid tier 1 for the Space Marine players under some early pressure as you may expect but they came out swinging and kind of edged forward got that pretty vital kid on the Warlock here wasn't able to help in the defence but they've gone a lot better if the Warlock was around I think still did pretty well to stop the full bash with a flamer and stuff in tow that grenade on the force commander was quite vital big chunk of health off him would have been a lot harder to get rid of if that grenade didn't go in Tier 2 now for Rice Muncher. What do you get Tier 2 here? Maybe just a Razorback and be really careful with it. Just build up your Marines and then go Tier 3. I don't think you want a Dreadnought or anything. Rangers capping mid. And because of that second Devastator squad, King of Pythons, a little bit far behind and going Tier 2. Not that far off though. There's enough resources to go. Scouts trying to retack this wreck point. We see a webway up there. Drop pod delivers some more marines for Rice Muncher. And they might be... Oh, it was a reinforcement drop pod. Did not deliver some marines. Pushing the power again is Rice Muncher. Where are the devs? Oh, they're staying mid. Okay. Flamer can do some work again. There we go. Scouts pushing forward there to harass those rangers in the back line. Mid is all red and Eldari, they're starting to get shields up and stuff. Oh, the webway's been spotted there. Full bash from King of Pythons. Here comes a Falcon for Space Elf. And maybe a full bash for a Rice Muncher too. It's got a Melter Gun up. Yep, definitely going to be a full bash. They're not disrupting the tactical marines here. Just want to shoot down the Tech Marine. Don't see any Pathfinder gear. Oh, there we go. Torpid's got some. Gives them a whole bunch of stuff. Can't use that Kinetic Pulse until you get it, I suppose. That's why we're not seeing the disruption from Space Elf. Force Commander's in there. Those guys go for a grenade note. Did they already use it? Oh, they had no energy. They must have used grenades. Warlock, we've lost the indicator for him. That was a crazy leap. Got the Witchblade of Kurnus. Just chopping up Marie's pretty good. Almost 72 power melee DPS on a thing this mobile is uh, not bad at all. Goes after the Force Corner now with some ranger support. He's got the firepower or the sword power. Gets knocked over though. Yeah, it backs away. It is a Dreadnought for Rice Muncher. Not sure about that. We have a Falcon that can shoot it down. Um, Dark Reaper's up for Space Elf. Maybe it can just survive a Falcon. Perhaps they want to get Multimelter and chase that thing down. There's that Melter Gun. Force Wanda could not face tank the Shuriken that time. Scout trying to get a decap. And they got it. Couldn't quite get the cap though. The Rangers of Torpid. Oh, found the Force Commander and take him out. That was a snipe. What are these fellas up to? 
there to defend the power, I suppose. We got some warp spiders for Torpid. That's going to help deal with the Dreadnought if they get their Haywire grenade. Here it is. Starts off as a melee walker for Space Marines. Witchblade of Kernus. Sorry, the Merciless Witchblade doing its thing. All those Witchblades are pretty nasty. Scouts might wipe. Maybe they survive. And a Warlock does not want to fight a Dreadnought. None of this stuff really wants to fight a Dreadnought in melee. But the Falcon can take some shots. Oh, needs to be very careful though of a Laz Cannon, that's for sure. Where are those Warp Spiders at? Here they are. Don't have their aspects yet. There it is. Gives them a Haywire Grenade. Dark Creepers can't do a huge amount against the vehicle. Great against Marines though. And a Bright Lance now for Torpid. Don't think it's going to get a shot though. No. Not sure what these fellas are up to. It's a bad fight for you guys. Last cannon gets a shot and another. Marines barely getting away there. I don't. This dreadnought should not be able to get onto the Falcon. He needs to move. I said you need to move. There we go. Last cannon struggling to hit those Rangers as you may expect. We've got a Wraith Guard squad up now for Space Elf. Here comes the Haywire, and that's a Bright Lance as well. Maybe should have moved up a little bit more. Can they get the Haywire? There it is. Bright Lance needs to move. Falcon's on it though. Those guys can mess up the Tech Marine so he can't repair. Maybe now tie up the Laz Cannon if they can. There we go. Oh, just shoot them. That works too. I think they've got a Dreadnought here. Oh, down goes the Falcon though. Maybe they don't have the Dreadnought. Should have tied up the last cannon, I think. Bright Lance is there. And finishes off the Dread. Rice Muncher now with a Librarian up. Sub Commander for Space Marines has some cool support abilities. And he can fight pretty well too. Can shoot lightning out of his hands. And smack with his sword. Some dead Marines in the north. Those were Pythons, who's got a Terminator Force Commander now. Made a tier 3, replaced all of his stuff with that thing. He's got his Storm Bolt and his Power Fist. Can also retreat, unlike other Terminators, still gets his Teleport as well. It's a pretty big upgrade, but it is expensive and you lose all your other war gear. Also lose the ability to level up, but he does get 2,500 hit points of heavy infantry armor, which is a little bit weird. Terminators are typically super heavy infantry and heroes have commander armor. He gets none of those. He gets heavy. I'm not exactly sure the reasoning behind it. I suppose with that much health the resistance to piercing damage would have been a bit too much with super heavy. Maybe. I guess it doesn't matter too much. You still get plasma and power stuff to counter it. Scouts trying to grab that wreck point back. So I feel like the red team have had the mid for a while now. Terminator Force Commander trying to chase down the... Uh... Can he not shoot on the move? Got a power fist hit and just took out a warp spider there. He's really not shooting his gun, is he? There we go. Got a shot there. Being chased by a warlock. Bright Lance, maybe he can get a shot on him. He's getting teleported away, is he? No. Oh, that's Veil of Time. I thought that was Gate of Infinity going off. 1-1-1 one, one, one to 470. Big VP lead for the Eldar team. I hear Wraith God shooting. There we go. Oh, we've got some actual Terminators called in now for Pythons. Dark Creepers doing some good damage. I might want more Dark Creepers. Vendred soon, says Rice Muncher. How soon? I want, I want answers. Not that far off. 30 seconds or so, I think. Down goes the Warlock. And blue team retake the mid. Gonna lose both naturals though, are they? It's a single marine with a flame armor. Do you want to mess with this guy? <laughs> Just a little bit of fire and it backs away. Doesn't actually want to fight him. Devastator's actually got the cat there, I think. Got more devs in the mid with heavy bolter. There's that scorch beam 
on this Terminator model here. It increases the damage they take. That's on the Bright Lance. Taking a lot of damage, those Terminators. There's no Dark Creepers here at the moment. Are they in this blob? They are. Oh boy. Last Cannon Devastator almost got deleted. Does get away. Tech Marine retaking the VP. 80 to 461. Massive VP lead for the Elder. But we are in Tier 3. Where Space Marines really do shine. Can they get things on the field though? Python got the Terminators up pretty quickly. They're going back to base to heal up at the moment. Red Team are retaking the mid. Tier 3 now for the Eldar players. They need Avatars, I think. To help them push, help them soak up damage. Quite a big deal for Eldar in Tier 3, I think, against Space Marines. There's the Venerable Dreadnought. Unique Walker to the Tech Marine. Fights in melee combat, has tons of health and can also charge. Oh, he just got Haywide in the middle of smacking that Bright Lance. There's a lot of stuff here. Wraith Guard. Bunch of other stuff getting not super effective shots in, but this Venerable could be in trouble. That's a Bright Lance now. Here comes some Terminators for some moral support. Also, Bolter support. Looks like the Venerable Dreadnought's going to be okay. Maybe still going into combat. Taking Bright Lance shots all the while. But does survive. And that was a squad wipe on, I think, Rangers. Warlock's going mental with his merciless Switchblade, but is persuaded to leave. And Blue Team are going to take the mid. Stone Guard veterans for King of Pythons. Where's that force command? He's got no weapon upgrade. As soon as I say that, goes for the Heavy Flamer. Cancels it. Goes for the Assault Cannon. Don't see the Heavy Flamer that much these days. Used to be insanely strong because you could wipe out an entire power farm really quickly, but that was all fixed a long, long time ago. And now it seems maybe a little bit lackluster. Assault Cannon tears through things pretty well and from good range and does suppression. The Venerable Dreadnought now has the Dark Age of Technology to 2050 hit points at level 1. Pretty good. Are they looking for the webway again? I don't think they are. Power Bash. Assault Cannons for everyone. Some scouts on the way for Rice Muncher wants to help repair the Venerable Dreadnought. Maybe what are these fellas up to? What are they doing? Very odd. Avatar on the way for Torpin. Double cap for the Space Marines now. We see those Hellfire rounds from the Stone God. Putting a whole bunch of acid on these fellas. They didn't drop a model though. It's pretty impressive. Well done, guys. Eldar retake the mid. Nobody can hold it for long at the moment. We've got a turret on this side. Gonna take out the Warlock. There we go. This guy still hasn't been reinforced. What is that fella's problem? Why did he never reinforce that Marine squad? Or did I just always look at them when they were back down to one model or something? Very odd. Level 2 Venerable Dreadnought. All of a sudden has 200 more hit points. Because of that level. Uppercut there with a Power Fist. How are you alive? Oh no, he's not. He's down. Space Marines are going to retake the mid and they grab the north and they have to, they could get a triple cap here. Avatars are going to come out and that could be, that could be the game changer. Especially two Avatars. Could make a massive difference. King of Pythons is very close to getting a tank up. Could also save for more Terminators. I only need a little bit more red. I assume the cooldown on getting more Terminators is up. There's the avatar of Torpid, and here is Space Elves. Super unit for Eldar. Very powerful in melee combat, as you may expect. And have some good passive buffs as well. Got a full bash and a decap on the power there. This power is hit, though. Nobody's got a lot of power oh, over here. We have a full power farm. Well done. Up goes another turret. There's the remains of that first Dreadnought. The Venerable Dread is still going though. Avatar goes mid. Stone God 
need to switch to their vengeance rounds to fight the super heavy infantry armor of the avatar. They're not doing it though. They're sticking on hellfire at the moment, which is not what they, what they want to use against this big fella. Terminator Force Wanna teleports in. He can use his teleport a lot more aggressively because he can still retreat. Power Fist goes in on the Avatar who's chasing the Librarian around. Some repairs from Rice Muncher. Got another turret on the power there. Here comes Torpid to the mid. Grab his contested. He's a natural VP. And uh, gets that wreck point again. There's those two Avatars. What do you do about this, Blue Team? They don't have any tactical marines to get plasma guns. They're going for a Predator tank and a Land Raider Redeemer from Python. I think they both have... Yeah, they both have Eldritch Storms they can use, though. I think they're in a decent position here, the Elder. Smite doesn't really do much to the Wraith Guard. And Avatar might be able to finish off that Librarian. Nope, goes for the Tech Marine instead. And gets him. Now it's got a venerable dreadnought to fight. Which is a tough fight. This guy's got a lot of hit points and it's vehicle armor. Not um, super heavy infantry. What are you up to, Mr. Force One? Are you trying to get revived? Okay. This could be a vital push for the Eldar 69 to 239. The land raid is almost up. The predator tank is up. And it's coming towards the south. Going for the last cannon. Avatars at risk of overextending here, need some support. Wraith Guard are quite vital here, I think. Down goes the Tech Marine again. That's a bit unnecessary, Mr. Avatar. He's down. Chill out, dude. Avatar of Space Elf, gonna go down. Does go down. There's an Eldritch, another Eldritch. They put an Eld. This is a person put an Eldritch just on the turret. They're going to regret that when they see the land trader. I mean, one one of the Eldritches was used to get the tank. That was worth it. But for a turret, I don't think that's worth it. I guess they didn't know the other one was coming in. Maybe they were trying to get both of them. But uh, Eldritches are down. Elder have the double cap here. More Dark Creepers for Space Elf. Seems like a solid choice. Torpid still has those warp spiders. What have they been up to? Stuff. They're level 2. Venerable Dreadnought now level 3. 24, 17 hit points. And Stern Guard are capping mid. No, it's not. The Scouts are actually capping it. Which is why it's going so slow. Force Commander Terminator. Or Terminator Force Commander is trying to get... I think he's going to get it easily. Grenade. He probably could have got the whole cap there. Surprise, he ran off. Surprise, he ran off. What is this? It's an avatar. This is Torpids. Has found a turret to smack down. Meanwhile, Warp Spiders are capping. Should be able to get this done, I think. Against the Librarian. Yeah. Down to two VPs, the Space Marines now. Venerable Dreadnought's having fun, though. Going to get level 4 in a second. Very, very close to it. Bright Lance persuades it to leave. Those scouts are trying to repair. Can't quite manage it right now. Assault Terminator is now for Python. There's the Wrath of Cain. Does it have support? Not really. I mean, they don't have Lightning Claws, but it's still a lot of damage on the Avatar. One to one cap. They just need a couple of seconds of a single cap here, the Eldar team. Couldn't quite finish off the Dreadnought. Down to 62 hit points. That's a Wailing Doom. Oh, they teleported away from me. Look at that. That could kill the Avatar. It's double Dark Creepers and Wraith God. It's a lot of damage and they've used their teleport. Might have baited them into massive amounts of trouble here. Down goes one. I don't think these guys are getting away from this. I don't think they're getting away from this. Does the Avatar want to fight them though? Could get some friendly fire from the Wraith God. It survives and takes down the Terminators. Still a 2-1 to one for the Space Marines though. 
Fire Prism on the way for Torpid. I think they can push now. Torpid has a Eld uh, Eldritch. Space Elf is not that far. I mean, 125, you can get pretty fast if you can kill Terminators and stuff. I feel like Terminators should be more than 25 red when they die. I mean, a Tyrant Guard is like 50, isn't it? It's crazy. Still that 2 to 1. Furiously repairing the Venerable is the Tech Marine here. Got a bit too close, did they? They did. Surprised they retreated, though. They just saw the Venerable Dreadnought start walking towards them and they ran away. Here comes Seer Council from Space Elf. They still have some VPs to work with here, the Eldar. These fellas are looking after the, uh, the VPs. Are a hero there as well? Yeah, the Warlock's there. Surprise, we haven't seen the um, the shield go up or Providence or something to try to try to get a decap. Champion's Road, that's it. Venerable has been amazing. But they have the tools to beat it. I mean, Bright Lance, Wraith Guard, Fire Prism. Can they bring it all together though? Maybe. Some scouts just wiped out, I think. Second one survives. Cyclone missile launcher. Look at the damage to that fire prism. That was crazy. That was only two of the missiles hitting. I think does so much damage. Still the two to one cap though for the space rings. Look at this. Sneaky Rangers getting a decap. Well done, fellas. Well done, space off. But I'm not sure if Torpid can hold this against. Terminator Force Commander and Terminators. Where are the... I always miss the Warp Spiders doing stuff. Single cap now for the Space Marines. They're down to three units each though. And they have a Seer Council here. They're going to get a triple cap. They need to do this quickly. So that Torpid maybe wants to... Uh... Oh, it doesn't think it's possible. I think they have a decent chance here, Torpid. I mean, both the Warlocks are down, but they do have Eldritches. They have the dub Double Dark Creepers and the Seer Council. They have the Fire Prism, which might go down. Oh, Fire Prism lives. Are oh, they conceded? Yeah, Torpid doesn't think he can hold the natural here. If they were swapped around, if Space Self was in the north with the Seer Council and the Double Dark Creepers, would have torn through these Terminators. And the Bright Lance and the Warp Spiders would have been better against the Venerable. I think they maybe could have continued there. It would have been tough with the Land Raider and all the Terminators. But with the Eldritches, they had a decent chance. Torpid could have repurchased as well. Maybe got Providence up. But hey, they only had a certain amount of time. Blue Team took it. They did take it. Had the three units in the end. This Venerable Dreadnought was awesome. So look at these heroes, level 5 Tech Marine, Terminator Force Commander of course, level 4 Warlock and a level 3 Warlock. There you have it guys, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.